because I, I am here for a number of reasons, starting with my friend and former colleague, Maggie Hassan. She and I were elected to the United States Senate it, 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 the same year, so we were part of the same class. And I'm going to tell you something about, I think you know all that I could tell you about Maggie Hassan, but I'm going to say it anyway. I've seen her in rooms where there are cameras. I've seen her in rooms where there are no cameras, and she is always fighting for New Hampshire. She has been one of the strongest voices in the United States Senate about the need to implement broadband for everyone with an emphasis on rural America. Um, she is one of the leaders and the reasons why in the bills that she has mentioned heretofore we have had the kind of resources put into broadband again with a focus on rural America. So in front of all the friends, I want to thank you, Maggie, for the leadership that you've been providing. And, um, and, it, and it was also on her recommendation that I came here today because you're doing incredible work. So to your point, in 1936, uh, we, the Congress passed the, the Rural Electrification Act. And the idea was, was pretty basic. Not everybody in America had electricity. And it was really clear that without electricity, you couldn't function, you couldn't participate at an equal level, you couldn't be competitive. The quality of life would be so compromised. And so we said as a country, hey, no, this is everybody in it together. We all have to participate in making sure everyone has the basic services that are necessary to raise their families, participate in society, and be productive and economically strong. And then in 1939, that, that pole was built and it's still there. And why we're here today is because what you have been doing in this co-op is building on that legacy. I, I love that you drive by there and see it. It's literally a symbol of the fact that it, we have a legacy of doing this work in America. We have a legacy of saying we're going to have a commitment, a national commitment, to making sure everyone has access to the basic things they need. And now, in this year of our Lord 2021, that's broadband. So we're literally, literally building off of what happened out of that recognition in 1936 around electricity. We're literally building off of that to make sure everyone in America has access to broadband. And I think that you are absolutely right. This pandemic really pointed out, you know, you've been doing this work before with this co-op. And you've been doing the work because we knew it was important. The pandemic pointed out it's a necessity. Our kids can't be educated without broadband. You know, many of us grew up with, you know, if we had to do our homework and need some help, we could look at Encyclopedia Britannica. Well, those days are over. <laughs> now you got to have access to the Internet. We knew that before the pandemic, and it became an absolute necessity during the pandemic. You look at it in terms of running a small business. If you want to be able to advertise what you're doing, if you want to be able to move your product and have people make, re make requests for your product, you have to be able to have access to broadband. And it has to be affordable, Maggie Hassan, like you always say, access and affordability. Let's think about our seniors. Again, the, the pandemic made so clear. Some of our most vulnerable, those who need health care the most, couldn't get to the doctor. But we have this thing called telemedicine, where you could get diagnosed, where you could get treatment if you had access to high-speed internet and broadband. So we're talking about essential work. And the American Jobs Plan will put $100 billion into getting access to broadband and affordable access to broadband for everyone. And it's the same thing that our country decided to do in 1936 saying, let's get electricity to everybody, and rural America should not be left out of that priority. And part of the American Jobs Plan is also not only $100 billion getting broadband to everyone, but with an emphasis on co-ops, with an emphasis on the nonprofits, with the emphasis on the ones that are being led by the community. And so that's why we're here today, to just see it, to see it, and to understand that this really is an incredible moment in our history, not unlike what our country did in the 1930s with electricity, we can do now with broadband. So let's get it done. Let's get it done. And thank you all for your leadership and all that you're doing. And again, Maggie Hassan, 
Thank you. You really are not only a, a leader of the great Granite State, you are a national leader on this and so many other issues. So well, I appreciate you. it so much, and you guys are great partners. Um, you know, the administration has just been um, on the phone, literally, with, with a lot of us, just saying, what do we need? How do we make this work? Uh, we've got a lot of work to do to take the American Rescue Plan and roll it out, but to get the American Jobs Plan uh, over the finish line, too, because this is all about opportunity and, and getting people back to work and watching as, as the pandemic ends and we're seeing light at the end of the tunnel, really just watching uh, how we can rebuild even better. And leapfrog, yeah. right? Like leapfrog into it. Let's get in there like you guys did around the time. I think I read 100 miles in 100 days you did. Is that right? That is right. In about yeah. three months, we got yeah. the whole thing built. Yeah, that's phenomenal. And so you need the support. Absolutely. You need the support. What you're doing here on the ground, literally. <laughs> you need the support. You deserve the support from our federal government. Part of it, if I can say, is that Please. our nonprofit status is part of keeping it affordable because we, right. we don't need the same kind of profit margin. Right. And we have a very member focused view that really is long term infrastructure serving our members. That's right. That's right. Well, thank you all. Thank you. I'm so glad that you all are doing this work and that we could bring attention to it as a model for our country of what can be done and what's possible and the talent that we have on the ground to get it done. So, thank you all very much. Thank you. Thank you. So what are we looking at yeah, right well, here? These are transformers. Okay. And uh, right. these are service transformers that go outside of members' homes to take down the voltage. Uh-huh. Uh, they go throughout our electric system. Uh, and then, and these this, this is actually the fiber optic cable right here. Yeah. There it is. Yeah. Uh, looks a lot like the electric cable, but uh, yep. this is fiber optics. And that's what's been going in in Lempster and Colebrook and hopefully in 118 other towns eventually. That's great. Yeah. This is wonderful. So, it's uh, quite an operation. And yep. uh, that's what we do. We build and maintain infrastructure and do it to serve people. And it requires great skill. It I takes mean, the, a lot the of training skill. and the work that goes into doing this. Well, especially a job like what Jeff right has, the, um, there's a lot of training and, and uh, schooling that goes into getting the job. But then I think Jeff would tell you there's a pretty steep learning curve even once oh, you're in the job. Yeah. Because they're the ones who are just designing. Uh, all of the drops for uh, homes, both for electric and, and for the uh, broadband side, and uh, some of the system expansion. So uh -huh. it's kind of an engineering function, if you will. Jeff, what was your training? What did you What did yeah. you do to well, lead up to Four-year apprenticeship, ma'am. Yeah. So you started off working with somebody. You're riding around with them, and they teach you everything. And there's four different levels of classes that you have to take in order to become certified in order to do what we do. Because there's a lot of math, which is not my favorite subject. Uh, there's a lot of math with this. Uh -huh. uh, and, it, and it really is a four or five year learning curve on, right. on being able to design uh, to get electricity and now broadband into people's homes. Right. And that's one of the other things in the American Jobs Plan and things we're working on right now in Congress is trying to do the kind of workforce training programs that really help people who want to do this work. Um, figure out how they can get the training and credentials to do it. And it may, maybe some people want to change jobs, but we also know we're going to need people for the foreseeable future to really make sure that we can get this done. And that's part of the jobs creation piece of it. But there's really strong bipartisan interest in figuring out how we help people decide what they want to do after high school um, and throughout their careers and get the training in a way that makes sense for them. So that's another piece of it that's going to be really exciting. Thank you all very much. Thank you for all the work you're doing. Thank you. This is really great. Appreciate really glad it. to be able to see it firsthand. And with this beautiful backdrop, right? <laughs> <laughs> the sun just came out. <laughs> Thank you, guys. Yeah. OK. Thank you, everybody. Thank you, Thank you all. Thanks, Hunter. Thank you for talking about the league. You are so good. You are so good. You're I'm, so public good. Public speaking is not my Come strong point now. Okay. Thank you but so much. Whenever you have to talk, just remember.